Hello, welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. I'm LuigiFan64D. So in the last episode, we uh, cleared out all the weeks, all the secret reports, for week one. Thus begins the secret reports for week two. So I almost made a really big mistake and forgot to switch my pins again. Look at that, two evolutions. Almost cancelled. Good, good. So now we have Purity Launcher. We have Dope Line, which cannot evolve. Uh, Purity Launcher is really good. Just... Can only use one or the other. Purity Launcher is the one I kind of prefer using. Let's just have that equipped. That's good. I'll probably get a lot more pins uh, as this day goes on, so I'll probably equip those later. All right, I have to I have to level up. Me time is free time. I'll teleport. That's fine. It's quick. Fine. Right. So to do this one, we just have to recruit our partner first, and then meet up with the secret. Easy. Yeah, Purity Launcher is a little different because it just launches bullets and just that spread out. A little different instead of like shooting them that pierce enemies. They won't pierce enemies, but they hit a wide range. Alright. Now then we just interact with this. What's this box? Oh snap! It's a potted plant! This little guy will melt your stress away. Take heart from its tiny red flowers, set in Feng Shui to bring good luck. Uh, this is a really good equip because uh, it has low, uh, low brave cost. Like, I mean, it has 200, actually. No, that's not that low. But it's 100 HP and 20 defense. Good for when you, uh, you know, need a little boost. Shop here. Hi there. Hi, faces coat. Oh, any more shadow soon. matter? Good day. Shadow I'm matter only to... drops from. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Shadow matter only drops from taboo noise, which thankfully we're slowly getting towards. Let me just empty out some of these. I earned a lot of money as time went on. There we go. Alright. Now that we got that, on to day two. Got all the pig noise. I cracked the code and eliminate the boss symbol 86. To your next visit. Welcome. Cordyceps. And some HP tablets for Tektite and Yen. Cordyceps are pretty good because they, after you eat it, uh, it increases your bravery by 50. What I'd like to have is enough money for the curious mushrooms, but, you know, we'll get there in time. So I lowered my uh, difficulty to normal to get some rare metal. So let's just go back to ultimate. Huh? Hmm? The wall's gone. I'm sure one of the other players probably cleared it. You are aware you're not the only ones playing, right, Decker? Yes, I realized. Thank you. Kiss my charge. Ah. <sighs> We could be letting them do the entire mission, but no. You're done? Because before there was that guy blocking here, but now he's gone. 
And I think that's all I need to get to. Yeah. All right, so when it says, uh, I cracked the code, uh, that's referring to a cutscene that happens over here at uh, Mexican Dog. Benvenido! What are you saying? Hmm? Hmm, sounds like a scuffle inside. You're quitting just like that? Why go off and start your own company now? You're just starting to pick up steam! Sorry, boss, but you can save your breath. I cracked the code. Marketing code, you follow? I know how to sell. It's all marketing and trends, boss. Shibuya is one giant ball of trends. Are they talking business? Ugh. Day in, day out, work, work, work. They're like ants. Better get used to it. That's us in a few years. <laughs> Not me, thanks. I'm going to find a job I can slack at and still get paid. What's this box here? Oh, snap! It's the Super Mask's mask. A replica of the wrestling mask worn by Super, Ma Super Mask, the king of aerial combat. Wear this and you'll feel like you can fly. So that's a little foreshadowing that you can just stumble upon. That's pretty, honestly pretty cool. Uh, the mask is a headpiece, and it's pretty good. It, it's all right. It's low bravery, so like anyone can wear it. Uh, it's just what happened. It's just unfortunate that like everyone else already has like a lot of like high brave boosting stuff, except Joshua apparently, right now. So yeah. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I should feed him something. Whatever doesn't kill me. It's ice cream. So yeah, uh, we got that and the boss. Right, eighty-six. I believe that's actually a Molko. Let me meet you there. Actually. Uh, you actually can't get here. You have to get here through that little sideway. And they made it that way because here's the boss. Of course. And get ready. Because it's show. I don't think so. And he is currently taboo, so that's a little hard. Because he's working with taboo rules. Right. Thankfully, beat works really well with the when you have this rush uh, pin. That lets you hit uh, at the same time twice. Oh my gosh. You're out of your vector. Whoa. Prepare to be iterated. Fine. Oh. Gosh. I don't think it's iterated. Set us slow. You're out of your lane. Take that. Set us slow. Come on. You're out of your vector. You're out of your vector. Set us slow. Come and get it. Set us slow. You're out of your vector. Yeah. You're out of your vector. Set us slow. You're out of your vector. Fine. Oh boy. You're out of your vector. You're out of your vector. Set us slow. Set us slow. Go sign. Thankfully a lot of his attacks are kinda close range, except for that burst he has. You're out of your vector. Set us slow. This one actually might oh my gosh. It lagged and it didn't let me move. All you have to do is beat him on hard mode, but, uh... What? 2.5? Yeah, no. Let's try it on E. Let me get his easy drop. Got it. Alright, it's time. 
zero. That's how it's done. Alright. Ultimate's a little hard. Let's go for hard then. 86. 30% drop. I can't juggle him for too long. Five point three should do enough. Yes. Got it. All right, it's time. Dark matter. Remember, that's just a hard drop. That was his hard drop. He's that powerful that his hard drop was dark matter. Now, he does have another drop, but that rarity should look familiar. Uh, so we'll aim for that a little later. But we cleared what we had to, so let's uh, move on. I said I want to get some uh, metal. A moment. The third day. All right. So the boss that they want you to fight here, I already fought it on hard, but it's this fox boss. Watch out! 
Watch yourself. I think you can fight it with any party you want, but he's a little uh, tricky because he always dodges everywhere and teleports. Yeah. Uh, they're not too difficult. Uh, you just have to make sure you beat them before they can do their uh, fusion move. Because they have a super move that will deal a lot of damage. And it's real hard to hit them because they keep teleporting all over the place. And transforming and trying, because they're trying to get those flames. I don't think so. Get out! Oh, and I'm too late. Nope, they're rude. They're doing it. Yeah, I did pretty good damage. Not as much as I thought it would do. Where is he? Oh. That's it. This will take him out and get the rare drop. Or the ultimate drop, I mean. Three. Got him. Easy enough, right? Easy enough. Yeah. Come back when you grow up there. Te tech type? Is that is that it? Was his rare drop, was his ultimate drop tech, tech type? Gorgeous steps. It's edible. Is it? Did I do all that for tech type? Yeah. Yeah, I did. What's his other drops? A thousand yen. Fair. See normal. Got it. Easy. Teleport warning. That's how it's done. Both pretty good. Never got the hard drop, did I? I did not. Full twenty. Really gig juggle. I think he's the only one that drops that pin. That's pretty rare. Really gig juggle. Tap an empty space and Neku would teleport to that spot.
not particularly useful, but hey. It, it's a thing that he did a lot. So we'll take it. Now then. Yeah. Off we go. Alright, I changed Joy-Cons, I'm officially con uh, convinced that one of my Joy-Cons is just bust. That's not good at all. Cause this is working like a dream, just fine. Oh. Uh, yeah, something that may just be wrong with that controller. For the present, he's looking for memes. He needs something hip, right? Some idea. So let's go give him one. So we can go in here, and we'll get their quick uh, ramen advice. And they'll give us our first meme. Dessert. That said, we can instead go over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's happening over there. Whatever. But instead, uh, we can go here. Well, this guy's got some ideas. Man, I'm starved. Oh, what was, what was there I saw in Prince's block? Spicy tuna rolls? Huh, I don't know what those are. So please around in my song. Maybe I'll sneak off and take a look. Ah, uh, yes, the spicy tuna roll. It's a kind of sushi they serve outside of Japan. Sort of like a California roll. So what's in it? Mm, tuna, paired with a spicy sauce, then rolled up. Crazy. Think sushi, with a kick. Is it any good? I'm a fan. Spicy tuna roll. What's in this box? Oh snap! The pirate hat! Ours be a seaworthy hat for distant shores. You might say we're all pirates rough in the seas called everyday society. It's deep, man. Uh, the pirate hat is it's a regular old hat. Uh, low bravery, but only 75 HP and 20 attack. Not the best, but also not the worst. Alright, I'll... Uh, out of curiosity, you can give him the spicy tuna roll meme. Doesn't really have much of an effect, though. Spicy tuna roll. Yes! That's it! Wait. No. It'll work. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually work. But, that's a chapter! And thus we go... Day 4. The Secret Reports' Author. Now, they tell you this in another day, but otherwise this may be a shot in the dark. Alright, so now that we're back at Molka, what we have to do first is investigate this phone booth. Well, this is related. It is actually not related to anything here. But now, uh, he mentioned going back to Mr. H. So let's go do that. Hmm. Look who. We've been looking forever and still nothing. Jalad Azuki. So steady, girl. Are you kidding? This is a direct order from Miss Kanishi. Don't you blow my big chest at- um. Ah, you again? You look actually busy today. Very busy, thank you. You certainly don't have time to waste on you. Carry up with leaving. Bye, Bye whatever. Huh. 
wonder what they are looking for. Signal's getting weak. Let's try someplace else. So they're also looking for something. Being the sigil. But what we're looking for, personally... What we're looking for is over at Cat Street. We'll just go back in. Hey, Mr. H. Yo, what's up? You forgot Neku's phone camera. Honestly, Mr. H. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Can you add it now? I'm actually fresh out of parts. <sighs> Guess I'll have to. It'll have to wait then. Next time, I promise. <sighs> Let's just go, Neku. Hmm? <gasps> the samurai wig. This novelty item reminds us of the long-forgotten warriors of the past. It's especially popular among foreigners. Make new friends. Though the implication there is that Mr. H is the author of these. Hmm. Which, if you read them, if you read some of these things, it does try to keep secret, like, who... Like, the, these are, like, lore secrets of the game. I'll go over those in detail later. There'll just be a big uh, episode where I just read them through. So, yeah. Now it's time to actually uh, repair the phone. Lord of the Ten Pin Losers.